everyone. Thank you again for watching another uh, episode of How It Works. Uh, so today I'm going to be talking about my three Zoom videos and for people who are running into the Windows Media uh, Format uh, SDK error when trying to install the Zoom software. Um, and so I have noticed that there are a few users out there that has basically stated that they cannot find the Windows Media SDK um, and they're trying to install the client on Windows 11. So this is pretty important because there are people out there that may be using Tiny11 as a replacement for Windows 11, uh, which is a modified version of Windows 11 made by NTDev. Um, there's probably some other fork projects very similar to Tiny11, um, or y'all may just be running a corrupted version of Windows 11 um, that may have went through a pretty bad patch from upgrading from 22H2 to 23H2, um, which is basically feature updates and an upgrade to the operating system uh, in layman's terms. So um, for the longest time, I've been using Media Player Classic to add codecs to Windows Media Player, uh, which is known now as Windows Media Player Legacy, if you're using newer versions of Windows. And this is a really, really like written up awesome guide that helps explain um, a little bit about media feature packs and about the uh, Windows Media uh, Format SDK or Windows Media uh, SDK runtime, whatever way you want to say it, that particular feature that you need to get Zoom to work. So to comprehend this video and to understand how this works, you have to kind of dive in into the history of Zune real quick. And I'll try to keep it brief as much as possible. So Zune came back or came out during XP and Vista's time. This is this is like the era right when um, you know. Xbox original was going to 360 and this is when games for windows was out um, So you could technically talk to people on private parties and in game with people uh, Through the Xbox live services back in the day. This was your live assisted sign-ins. This was all that time your MSN uh, Messenger time. This is your error right here um, and so um that's a pretty important era to me because that's what I grew up in. Um, and so what, what kind of clicked for me and helped me understand what happened and why you're getting this error is because Zune does not know how to tell you, hey, you need to turn on this feature in Windows 10 and 11. And for some people running Windows 9, technical preview builds of either late 8.1 um, or either late or early, very early versions of Windows 10. Um, so this is this is going to be a little bit of a ride. So just buckle up and hang in there with me. So the 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 file that Zune is asking you to install is not going to work on Windows 10 or Windows 11. Neither any eight all the way back to seven it's only for windows xp and vista and as you can see here it says version 11 which is the actual program the very last program that was made as a standalone installer for windows media player now back in the day for some of us who have used windows since the early 2000s 1990s you could probably recall that media player was a bit of a pain in the rear. You couldn't be able to do a lot of like video formats. You had to install a lot of other third party codecs and pay for that and have to install uh, QuickTime to get uh, .mov, uh, uh, you know, codecs and things like that. So um, the point that I'm trying to make is that this file was only specifically made for XP and Vista. So what happened after Vista and when 7 came out and 8 and 8.1 came out, they started releasing this as a Windows update file. 
to where you can download it from the Microsoft catalog, install it, and then it basically runs through Windows updates, installing it. Uh, and then next thing you know, you have the codex, you have the Windows Media Player feature, and everything's all good to go for you to install Zune. Um, so Zune, when it first came out, the very, very, very first version of Zune, you could look this up on the internet. Um, Zune Enthusiast has released like videos of this, and basically the Zune software started off as Windows Media Player. It was just an ugly skin that was thrown across it to where you kind of like, wait, is this Media Player or is this a different software? And then when you clicked around with the features and then you compared them side by side, you're like, oh my god, it's Media Player. It's just ugly. And then Microsoft then started catching heat about that, and then they started making the Zune software more sophisticated, like iTunes. And so that's where the Zune versus iPod came in, and we're not going to go through that whole, that whole story. But I will say this, Zune got so much criticism, and Microsoft got such a slap on the hand because of how ugly the Zune was, and, and the UI and everything, to where people who were more Apple people that uses uh, music on Apple devices looked at the Zune and thought it was like a toy. It was just like, they, they're just like, this is just not what I like. This is not what I want. It's not pretty. I'm paying all this money when I can get an iPod that looks nicer, runs nicer, and, and it's all with an Apple. So, and DRM was a big deal back then too. Um, now, Continuing forward, after 8.1, there are different versions of Windows 10 out there. Now, the, listen up, people who are who are Windows modifiers that rips out and de-bloat your Windows so that you can get a great gaming experience, and people that are not living in the United States um, using Windows 10. Um, builds like the N editions like Windows 10 uh, Pro N and for Korean KN you're going to run into issues to where you're like oh well why do I not have media player Windows media player well you have to technically install that as a feature by downloading the files which is backed up here to this website, which I will be linking in the video, as well as on all three of my Zoom videos, which will add it to these older versions of 10. Um, so basically, it doesn't come with the operating system. And I think this has something to do with like foreign regulations um, of how Microsoft needs to uh, obey certain laws within Europe and maybe uh, South Korea, things like this, in order to be able to use um, a de-bloated version of Windows that doesn't come with all the extra crap that people doesn't want, especially if they're using it for pro pro productivity or enterprise reasons. So that's it in a nutshell. You have to download those files, which is the media feature pack from any of those links. Now, for people who are using newer versions of Windows 10 and newer versions of 11 until Microsoft has to abide by the laws that Europe has basically came down on on Microsoft recently, you have to basically either follow those instructions here, which is start settings, apps, app features, optional features, add a feature, and then add media feature pack, or simply just hold down the Windows key on your keyboard, press R, type in optional features, and that's feature with an S, all together as one word, press enter, and then you're going to get this pretty little box that's going to come up, and you're going to see media features here, and you're going to want to turn that on. Now, it may just be slightly named differently on newer versions of Windows, um, so keep that in mind, just a tad bit of a, of a name change, but you'll, you'll be like, oh, that's what it is. So this is important because Zune, again, does not know how to tell you, hey, you need to turn on this feature inside of Windows. 
because it was made before this was an actual thing. See, back in the early versions of Windows, yeah, the optional features box was there, but the media features part was not there before. You had to go out and find that file and install it, and then you got that Windows Media Player. So now Microsoft has supposedly, in quotations, made it easy for you to go in and turn it on because they built it in into the core part of Windows. That's until your modifiers comes in and says, well, we don't like all this bloatware. Let's rip it out, release a community version of Windows, and then throw it out there for people to download so that they can enjoy their gaming experience and meet the anti-cheat issues um, that kind of gets in the way of today's gaming. So the thing is, is that if you want to run Zune, bottom line is you need to either meet any of these criteria to be able to get that feature installed. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to install Zune because Zune relies on Windows Media Player. Um, another thing is, if you're using Tiny11, which I'm a big fan of NT Dev, he's a good friend of mine, but if you're using his scripts and you're not editing his scripts from GitHub to, to not remove the Windows uh, Media Player uh, legacy out of the build, then it's going to get removed and then you're going to be stuck having this issue to where you're going to have to do an in-place upgrade by downloading the Windows um, 10 or 11 ISO directly from Microsoft and then having to do an in-place upgrade for people who need unsupported hardware help. I already have a patched build of Windows 11 ISO 23H2 and 22H2 to where you could just download, install it to your system and basically either upgrade your system from 10 to 11 or upgrade from an older version of 11 to a newer version of 11 with with ease and no technical issues at all of having to try to finagle with it to make the installer work. I've done all the hard work for you. So you just need to download, run the setup.exe, do an in-place upgrade, fix your corrupted version of Windows 11. Um, for people that has supported machines, just download the ISO, do an in-place upgrade by running the setup.exe from the ISO, it's going to mount just like a flash drive in the side of uh, File Explorer in the navigation panel. And then next thing you know, you're going to have the feature to be able to turn on in the optional features box. Now, if this went over your head, bottom line is just follow this. If this doesn't work, reach out to me on my Discord and we can do a screen share together and I can tell you what to do. Uh, it's pretty simple, pretty easy stuff uh, for somebody that... Um, that is comfortable with Windows. Um, if you happen to have any questions, feel free to leave comments below. I encourage anybody that um, that are hardcore Zune lovers, hardcore Microsoft veteran Windows users, um, people who knows PowerShell, understands command prompt, batch files, understands registry, understands DLLs, um, to reach out and also uh, group policy editing, Everybody come out to my Discord. Let's team up together. Maybe a couple hours a week. We could get together, start planning on how to bring back Windows Media Player Legacy to future Windows of, of, of uh, or to future Windows builds. And that will allow us to be able to continue to use Zoom, have the legacy version of Windows uh, Media Player. Um, installed to the operating systems because Microsoft is planning on purging out Windows Media Player legacy out of the operating system, which is going to then completely disrupt Zune, Windows Media Center. We've already forked out um, Windows DVD Maker to run on 10 and 11. So if you want Windows DVD Maker like you did in 7 and Vista, you can you can just stop into my Discord, get the batch files, install it, and it will register to your operating system and then you can use the feature. Um, this may also disrupt features like Windows Essentials, uh, Windows Movie Maker. So anybody that is familiar with these programs and you still love these features, Windows Media Player is the critical key component. Everything was built off of that. And the moment that they take that away, all these other programs are going to cease to to exist so if you want to keep those around I, I highly recommend 
we all come together on my Discord and find a port out for Windows uh, Media Player 12, and then we can then release future things along with that later down the road. Um, thank you again for watching my video. Um, you know, in case if you again need any help, you could just simply go into the, into the description, click on the links, get to my Discord, ask your questions there, and I'd be more than happy to help. I hope you have a Merry Christmas, or if not, if you don't cel celebrate Christmas, Happy Holidays, and thank you for being the best part of how it works. Take care. Bye-bye.